Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we will try to see some of the concept in our PZ app. Let's try to improve our PZ app. Here, if you try to see, if you see here, this is our PZ app, right? We are writing all the components in the single file. We will write those all the things afterwards. We will move it to these all the things afterwards. Now here, if you try, if you see here, the order, this code has become too much, right? So if we can uh, not become too much. So it it has it is expanding. So this component is getting bigger and bigger. Now what we can do is one thing. What we can do is we can move these all JSX into a separate component. So let's try to move this one. So here I will be using function order order component. Okay, and for this order component, I will copy this all code, and here I will return this one, and I will paste it here. That's it. So this is our code, and this is not getting formatted because here we are having error, right? And order. Let's try to make this one like this. That's it. Now here, let's try to paste it here. Yeah. So now we have made the order. Now we have divided this all the code into a separate code, separate component, and here we are using the name of the component. But here we are using the closed over, right? Somehow we need to pass this one as a props. How we can send this one as a props? So you already know about this one. So here we know uh, closed over, closed hover is equal to, and I can write it something like closed hover. Okay, so that's it. So now if you want to access this one, what I can do here, I can access it through the props. And if I do the console dot log of props, I will do the console dot log of props. And here, if I refresh this page and let's see whether we are able to see this props code or not. And what I can do is so here, let's go into this one and remove this code and let's go to the console. And here we're not able to see. Let's try to implement this one as props dot closed over. Now, if we refresh this page and here what is this happening closed hover we are we should be able to get it right i think we are closed okay this one is closed and now what i will do is so here we are having this one right 11 to 12 or something like this now if you see the example output for this one still it is closed 11 to 22 oh to now it's at 11 pm so here we can write something like 23 let's assume we'll see now we should be able to get it. Yeah. Now here we are getting this one as an object. Uh, what I can say closed hour 23. So here we are able to get it as an object. Now what I want to do is so here if you want to pass the open hour also, we can pass this open hour. Open hour is equal to and I can pass this open hour. Now if I want to access this open hour, I can access it something like we are open from props 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 dot open hover to props column zero zero you will get column zero zero two and i will add it like this if you see the output from from here so we are open from 11 to 23 come and visit us order online so this is how we will be showing the output now the another thing what i want to tell you is so we are sending this one as a props right so there is also another provision to destructure the props. For example, let's say that we are getting these all the props props here, pizza object as a pizza object. And here we are taking it as a props and we are trying to do it like this one, right? Now we can also do one thing, something like we can destructure this here and we can directly use this value here. That's it. Now you have destructured this one. Instead of using the props, you can remove these props. Wherever you are using these props, you can remove it like this and directly you can use it with the name of pizza object. Now let's cop, let's remove this one all. Then we'll be able to see it. Yeah. Now you will be able to see the same output, but this time instead of using the props, we have destructured the props. Okay. So this is one thing which you need to understand. Now, if I try to print console.log pizza object, you'll be able to get all the pizza object. Pizza object, if I do it now if you see the output for this one so for everything you will be able to get the pizza object so like this you can destructure the pizza ops 
sorry you can destructure it now so now this is this is how we will be doing it so destructuring this one now here also the same thing what i can see is the on order also we can destructure so there is nothing but closed hour and also we can use the open hour okay so wait whatever uh, whatever the thing you want you can use it not, not not whatever the thing so here i can remove this props thing and i can remove this one also and i can remove this one also now it is very much clean right so wherever you want right the order is not a matter so here you can mention the order like this also oh sorry open hover you can mention it like this also the order doesn't matter so you can use it which way you want you can use it from 11 to 23 like this so in this way you can destructure the you can destructure our props and you can use it directly for example let's say that you have added another one something like test or anything so you can use this test not a problem so here it, it will be it will return undefined so it will not show anything so not a problem there, there will be no problem also it will not throw you any error so like this we can destructure the props and also what we can do is so we can divide this one into a component and we can destructure the op props like this so this is how we'll be destructuring it and we have applied this one to here also so we can remove this pre object and we can do it this one all yeah that's it that's it guys so this is how we'll be destructuring the props and we will be whenever you will be finding something like uh, what i can say um, when you are whenever you think that the property uh, or not the property the component is getting bigger and bigger means so if you are unable to maintain it if you are thinking like that means so you can divide that one into a separate component and you can use this component like this so that is the use of these components or probably what i can say is that is the main use of these components so whenever you think that it is getting more and more you can split this G jsx in jsx code into a separate component and when whatever the data you need it for this one you can send it as a props so that's it that's it all about the destructuring the props what i will do is i will commit this code in a new branch that is video iphone 15 let me commit this code so here i will commit this code and i will commit so destructuring props destructuring the props i will commit this entire code so let us commit it yeah publish this branch now uh, already you know so the the github repo link is provided in the description below whenever you have a doubts or anything so whenever you want to refer the code so you can go to my react 18 hyphen course the entire code the i have the projects whatever i am try, trying to tell in the react 18 i will be adding this one all so whatever the video you are trying to uh, watch uh, watch you are whatever the video you are trying to watch in the youtube so you can go to that particular video branch and you can check this code so you can go to this particular video if and 10th video if you are watching means you can go to the video if and 10 and you can watch this code so that's it guys so this is about the destructuring of the props if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you